Man, you are way too far away. You need to use the Pythagorean theorem and get closer to me. The what? Man, you're acting like this is Greek to you. Oh wait, it is. Why do we need to know about this? Just give this intro time to play out, then we'll talk about that. Man, I'm so ready to learn about this. I can't wait. Well, I mean, the intros aren't all that long. Whoa, did I just hear you right? Well, I guess we should get to it before you change your mind. Pythagoras was a Greek philosopher and mathematician, born in Samos, Greece in the year of 569 BC. He wrote a book called The Golden Verses and the knowledge was almost as valuable as the gold. Keyword almost. His full name was Pythagoras of Samos. That's like if I got my name changed to Dealer of the Math Lab. Actually, that kind of has a ring to it. Do you like the roof you have over your head? Well, you can thank good old Pythagoras for that innovation. Gable roofs are two right triangles nested together, and without the Pythagorean theorem, we would not be able to use these type of roofs. The Pythagorean theorem is used to identify right triangles. During construction, if columns are not perpendicular, then the building will collapse. But then the Pythagorean theorem comes in to help. The workers use the Pythagorean theorem to make sure that you won't have half the ceiling falling down on your breakfast. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So when you measure the hypotenuse, it will verify that the right angle is between the column and the ground or the column and the roof. I mean, why be wrong when you can be right triangle? Also, what people don't know is that the Pythagorean theorem doesn't only help us make roofs, it also helps us get to places on time. This is very helpful for us in this very busy time we live in. GPS is one of the best innovations in our modern world. What would people do without being able to look up where the closest Starbucks was and the distance between the two points of where they are and where they can get that sweet, sweet Frappuccino? Thank the good Lord for Starbucks. Well, that and the math.